Good morning, Central Campus. Today is November 25th. I'm Carly Grinstead, and here are your announcements. There is no school tomorrow or Friday. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. There is no intervention or extended detention today. The 345 shuttle to MCC and the Minot Air Force Base does not run today. There is a National Honor Society meeting next Wednesday, December 2nd at 7.45 in the auditorium. We are discussing our first service project. Members are asked to bring their National Honor Society certificates to the meeting. French Club members who are interested in going to Winnipeg are reminded that the payment deadline is next Thursday, December 3rd. There is an informational meeting about the upcoming Playmaker season on Wednesday, de December 2nd at 3 o'clock in Mr. Gifford's room, room 301. New members are welcome. Forms to order a Minot High School ugly Christmas sweater shirt are available in the finance office. Key Club is meeting after school today in room 112. Happy birthday today to Mrs. Julia Cobley and happy birthday to those celebrating over the long Thanksgiving weekend. Wyatt Markle, Alexis Coffey, Brennan Kubas, Mackenzie Field, and Alexis Marie Sippin. Those are your Central Campus announcements. Have a great day, but stay tuned for the following video. Over the past two years, there have been over 85 school shootings. That's 85 communities that woke up, it was a typical day, tragedy struck, and then lives were changed forever. And what do we do when tragedy strikes? You know, most communities say it's not gonna happen to me, not us, not this community, not our town, not our school. But what if it does? I'll never forget that phone call that I got. A school that I coached basketball at had had a school shooting. I began to get phone calls and text messages from parents asking if their kids were okay. And one of the students that I coached, his name was Kyler, and he was there. And that's what this week's episode of The Harbor is. Kyler Erickson's gonna explain to you guys what it's like after a traumatic experience happens. All of a sudden, these shots start ringing out. And then it just clicked, you know, we, we got to get out of here. As we walk out, there's just this pool of blood. So for about a year and a half, I, I went through kind of the motions of life. I didn't think a whole lot about the shootings or, or what had happened, just because it was in my past, and I, I didn't want to get more sad than I should, more uh, depressed than I should thinking about it. So I kind of tried to just put it to the side, you know, to, to forget about it completely. For about two weeks, uh, I would wake up and hallucinate these ghosts in my bedroom. And so the, these ghosts would be tall, they were strong, and they always had a gun pointed at me. And so I just kept to myself, you know, I was this all Nebraska, all state basketball player, Division One. I. I wasn't going to admit that there was something wrong with me. I wasn't going to... You know, tell somebody that I have faults, that I'm, uh, you know, somebody with flaws. What I really wanted to do was just ignore it and kind of keep it to myself so that my image stayed up, you know, as I kept my scholarship, so I stayed popular. The day came where it all just came crashing down on me. I walked into our athletic trainer's office. She says, what, what can I help you with, Kyler? And, the tears just started flowing out. And so I'm telling her these stories of what I see at night, what I go through, what I experience. And so she, she just gives me this hug and she says, um, you know, I'm so sorry, Kyler, but you know, together we're, we're gonna get through this. I used to think that, you know, if I get help, if I seek a therapist or a counselor, my life will kind of be on hold. Uh, some people might judge me. Um, and I won't ultimately get where I want to be. And the opposite couldn't be more true that I now am closer to my dreams than I've ever been before. I'm more successful, you know. Uh, I'm having more fun. I'm getting better at basketball than I've ever been, all because I made the decision, I made the choice to get help, and it has made all the difference in my life. We all go through tragic experiences. Maybe it's not a school shooting. Maybe it was your parents got divorced or a relationship ended, or maybe it's the battles that you're fighting within your own head. If we wanna move forward, we can't just act like it's gonna get better. We've gotta put ourselves out there and we've gotta ask for help. And after we get help, ultimately, that's when we can help each other. 
That's what community is. That's what family is. If you're watching this at school, I mean, that's your job. It's to be there for one another. It's to fight for each other. That's how we move forward.